Yo, what's going on with y'all, man? We back with another video. I hope all of y'all are having a blessed day. I hope y'all feeling good, living good, all that good stuff, man. So I'm filming this video on my phone because my camera just died. So we're going to get the content out anyway, okay? So today's video, I just wanted to share y'all, you know, this message, man. And I hope this video resonates with somebody out there watching, okay? Your blessings is coming. Everything that you always wanted, it's, it's about to come. And I just want to let you know, man, no matter how hard this journey gets, because it's a tough journey, man. Life was never designed to be easy, okay? It was never designed to be easy. It was never designed to just be happy 24-7, okay? You're going to go through obstacles. You're going to go through different phases of your life. Right now, I'm going through a tough phase of my life, man, but I appreciate this phase. See, a year or two ago, you couldn't, you couldn't tell me this stuff. You know, a year or two ago, I used to be stressed out. Every time something bad was going to happen in my life, or every time something bad happened in my life or, or, or a negative thing happened, I would complain. I would be stressed out and overwhelmed because I was young. I didn't know no better. But now that I'm older, you know, now that I'm getting a little older, I'm, I'm understanding life more. I'm loving life more. I'm loving myself more. I'm appreciating the hard times more because I understand God is testing me. And the blessings that you, everything that you always wanted is about to get ready to happen. And I just want to let you know, man, don't give up. Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. Everything is about to happen. God is just strengthening you. He's testing you. He's making sure that you're ready for the things that you're asking for. Your blessings is closer than what you think, man. This year is going to be an amazing year. This summer is going to be an amazing summer. Just keep staying at it. Keep going hard. Understand how great you really are. You are really great. You are really powerful. You are worthy. If nobody sees that, so be it. My whole entire life, I've been alone. I didn't have a lot of friends growing up. I didn't have a lot of, you know, people rocking with me growing up. I was always a loner. People used to always make me feel bad about being a loner, not having friends, not having a lot of girls. People used to make me feel bad about the clothes I used to wear because I was always into my own little style. I always been different my whole entire life. And people used to make me feel bad for being different. But one of the things I had to understand growing up, and it didn't take me until I was like, you know, a little older to realize this. I was made to stand out. I was never made to be a follower. Every time I tried to be a follower, it never worked out. Every time I tried to be a follower, it never worked out. That's because I wasn't made to be a follower. I was always made to, to, to be my own person and stand out. See, when you were chosen, when you're made to stand out, chosen ones always got their own thing going on. You know, we, we're not followers. We chosen ones. We was made to stand out. We was made to inspire people. We was made for people to follow our wave. You know what I mean? I always like, I always been this way my whole entire life, man. I never really was, was into what everybody else is into. I'm 22 years old. I don't have a lot of friends. And the friends that I do got, you know, I, I've been knowing them since I was a kid, but we don't hang out. We don't talk all the time. You know, I pretty much live my life on some lonely shit. Like, I'm, I'm alone 24-7. I enjoy myself. I love myself. I don't need to force myself into friendships or relationships to feel happy. A lot of people don't know how to be alone. When you look around now, everybody got to be in relationships now. There's some people that will force themselves in a relationship with somebody they know ain't right for them. Just for the sake of them not wanting to be alone. Because they can't stand being alone. They can't sit in their own silence. I'm my own best friend. I love myself. I don't need nobody. You know, and I've always been this way. Nobody understands me. You know what I mean? I understand me, though. Nobody understands. Even my closest family don't understand me. My mom, nobody really understands me. You know what I mean? And I and that used to mess me up when I was young. You know, when I was young, I used to feel a certain way about that because I always felt like I was alone, man. I always felt like I was alone. Ever since I was a kid. I was always the black sheep. The weird one. You know what I mean? And the reason why I say weird is because, you know, I wasn't into the same stuff everybody else was into. So they automatically assume you weird when you're not doing what everybody else is doing. I'm 22 years old. I've never been to a bar before. i never been to a party. When I was in high school, I didn't go to prom. I didn't go to homecoming. I wasn't into that shit. Like, I always seen things different. I was never into none of that stuff. You know what I mean? And people used to try to pick on me and things like, oh, you got to you gotta do this and you got to you gotta go out with me, bro. You got to go to the bar with me, bro. I'm not into that stuff. I don't want to be a follower. I don't want to be average. I wasn't made to be average. God designed me to be special. I'm a special being. I'm a special person. I'm a chosen one. You know what I mean? 
Like I'm a chosen one. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not like everybody else, man. I like to inspire people. I like to motivate people. I want to grow into a, 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 a powerful man. I want to save the world, man. I want to save lives. You feel me? I don't want to be doing what everybody else is doing. That's not fun to me. You know? And people used to always pick on me, man. But I just want to let you guys know, man, it's okay. If you're watching this right now, you don't have a lot of friends. You don't go out. You don't have a girlfriend. Whatever it is, man. Find peace and love within yourself. It's nothing like being at peace with yourself. That's the best thing, bro. And you're going to notice once you start tapping into how like how great you are, you're going to be like, damn, I really am a powerful person. I really don't need people. See, when you don't tap into yourself and you don't know yourself, you feel like you need outside things to keep you happy. Or, you know what I mean? You try to like, you try to like do things on the outside to keep you happy. But really, all you need is yourself. All you got to do is just tap in with that greatness within you. For the longest, I was a follower. I used to try to do what everybody else was doing to make me feel happy because I didn't like the feeling of being a quote-unquote lame. I didn't I didn't like how people used to make me feel like a lame or, or feel like a, 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 a oddball. It's weird because like when you're doing the right things, people think it's lame. It's lame to, 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 to do things the right way, but it's cool to be a street nigga. It's lame to get up every day and go to work, but it's cool to go sell that dope. It's cool to, 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 to be out in the street shooting motherfuckers. It's cool to have six, seven bitches, but it's lame to have one girlfriend. You get what I'm saying? It's cool to have a bunch of baby mamas, but it's lame to be married and stick to one woman. It's like everything that's the right way is lame. Everything that's horrible, we glorify. We glorify street niggas. But the dude that's down the street selling t-shirts trying to make a legal business, y'all pass him up. Because it's lame to be, it's like, I don't get this generation. I don't get it. And this is why I don't fit in. And I don't even try to fit in. I gave up on that a long time ago. I don't try to fit into this, this new age way of living because it's stupid. I have a bigger purpose. I'm a chosen one. I was made to stand out, not be a follower. And if people don't see my worth or potential, fuck them. It's not made for them to see it anyway. As long as I know how great I am, that's all that matters. I didn't already prove to myself that I can do something. I didn't already prove to myself that I'm powerful. The moment that I started trusting me and what I like to do and, and, and following what's in my heart, everything in my life changed. When I first started doing YouTube, I was trying to make videos that, that everybody was going to enjoy. Pranks and all the other stuff that everybody else was into that everybody else was doing. I was doing what everybody else was doing. But in my heart, I wanted to motivate and inspire people. You know what I mean? That's what I really wanted to do. But I didn't do it because I didn't I didn't want people to call me a preacher. Oh, you doing this on YouTube and you talking about this. You think you this. You this. I was scared of what people was going to think of me. But the moment that I followed what was in my heart, everything changed. Everything changed. I built my own community. I'm the only person in my city with 100,000 plaque on YouTube. I'm proud of that. I embrace that. Despite what my channel was at now. I embrace that. It don't matter where I'm at now. It's the fact that I did that. I did that shit. Nobody else in my city got that. I have that. I didn't save lives all around the world. I didn't stop people from doing drugs. I had a dude, a, a college athlete, DM me on Instagram a video of him flushing down Xanaxes in the toilet. Like literally dumping the Xanaxes in the toilet. And I stopped him from doing his addiction. Like that made me feel so good, bro. Being different. I don't have to be a street dude. I don't have to, you know, it's it's cool to, to, to be who you are. And I and I wanted to make this video to tell you guys that like y'all are special. Y'all are y'all y'all are beautiful people. Y'all are special. You you guys are worthy. Don't make nobody, don't let anybody make you feel bad about being you. It's okay to not have friends. I don't got friends. It's okay to be alone. It's okay to not have a girlfriend. You know what I mean? It's okay to still be a virgin if you're watching this. It's okay. Don't let these outsiders and all these people stir you the wrong way. The way your life is, it's designed to be that way. If you were, if you, if you grew up being alone and not having a lot of friends, that's that's God pitting you through a certain test. That's God showing you that you don't need nobody. You were designed to stand out. Chosen ones are designed to stand out. You know what I mean? People ain't supposed to understand you. You're supposed to understand yourself. And the older I get, I'm starting to realize that. I understand me. 
You know what I mean? That used to mess with me growing up because I used to be like, damn, nobody understands me. Nobody's into the stuff I'm into, you know? Everybody's making me feel weird about this. and You know what I mean? Like, as long as you love yourself, that's all that matters, y'all. And y'all are powerful and, and the blessings is around the corner and we are finna win and we are finna live life and we are finna be happy and everything we always wanted is about to happen, y'all. Trust me, just stay solid, keep working, keep pushing, and don't give up. Love yourself, man. Take care of yourself. You know? We got this, man. We all in this together. I made this channel so we can build it. I made this channel to build a family. I don't I don't wanna I don't want people to look at me like I'm just some big YouTuber because I'm not. I'm messed up. I'm in a lot of bad, you know, situations right now in my life. I'm not trying to be somebody I'm not. I just want you guys to understand I got y'all, man. And we gonna make it. We gonna make it out of this. This ain't the end. This ain't the end. Y'all didn't see me from the bottom up. Y'all didn't see me go broke. Y'all didn't see me have money. Y'all didn't see me have views. Y'all didn't see me lose views. Y'all didn't see every part of my life, man. Like I have nothing to hide. I, I and and I show that part of my life. I show my ups and downs, my highs and lows for a reason. Because I'm human, just like y'all. Outside of this YouTube internet shit, I'm a human just like y'all. I go through the same shit y'all go through. That's why I make my videos so you guys can relate. That's why people fuck with me because y'all relate. You know, we all in this shit together, man. And I want you guys to understand, this ain't the end. We finna make it out. We finna make it out. No matter what I go through, I smile and I keep a smile on my face because I understand this ain't the end. God is making a way for us. God is making a way for us. God is strengthening us. You know what I mean? God is strengthening us. I just recently went back to church and I, I can't wait to go back to praise the Lord. And and, and man, I'm, I'm, I'm just excited because I know a lot of great things is about to take place. A lot of great things, man. And I love you guys. And I want you guys to, to really strive and, and do the things you guys need to do. It's not over. As long as you're trying every day. Trying to be a better person each and every day. Little by little each and every day. That's all that matters, man. That's all that matters. And if nobody understands you, it's okay. Trust me on that. It is okay. If nobody understands, I understand. That's what this community is for. For the chosen ones. For the people that's different. For the people that want more than just the average lifestyle. We ain't average. We ain't settling for average. We ain't hanging out with nobody that's average. We ain't date nobody that's average. And when you're not an average person, you got to go through different things. You know, you go through a different type of struggle than what average people go through. Chosen ones always got the hardest life. Chosen ones always got the hardest life. Chosen ones always got the lonely lifestyle. You know what I mean? Because people can't gravitate towards you because you're too different. See, average people, they can gravitate towards pretty much everybody because they're average. It's more average people than chosen ones. It's like, like I said, it's like the walking dead. You know, you're the survivor. Everybody else is pretty much zombies. You aren't made for a zombie to understand you. A zombie can't understand you. You're a fucking survivor. You're a walk. You're, you're, you're a survivor. The walkers can't understand the survivors because they're zombies. That's, that's how you got to look at it. I look at my life like, like the damn walking dead. I'm a survivor. Everybody else is zombies. I was made to stand out. I was made to be different and save lives. That's why my life is hard. That's why I go through the things I go through. That's why I've always been alone because people can't relate. And, and when, when you are, when you different, that, that energy rubs people the wrong way. People don't even want to hang out with you. People remove themselves. When you want a new path and you're doing new things and you're just different and you're trying to Structure your life in a certain type of way. People will remove themselves. You will notice that. People are going to stop calling you. When you sober up and you stop drinking alcohol and stop smoking weed and all that, you start to notice your friends stop calling. When you stop, you know, going to the bar every weekend, chasing chicks, people, people remove themselves because your frequency is just different. You want a different level. You're not average. So they no longer can hang out with you or relate to you. Because you're a new being. You're a new person. I love you guys, man. And I want y'all to understand our blessings is on the way. Everything you always wanted is about to happen. Just, just be patient. Have faith. Pick God first. If you're going through anything, ask God for strength and forgiveness, man. You know what I mean? Ask God for strength and forgiveness, man. 
I'm down. Like I'm, I'm just so happy. I'm happy because I feel myself being different. If nobody else sees it, I see it. I can feel myself changing into a stronger man, a more disciplined man. You know what I mean? I stopped all my vices. You know, I, I feel great. My mind is getting more clearer. I'm sober. I'm eating cleaner. I'm getting leaner. My muscles is coming in. I work out every day. You know, I can't complain, y'all. I really can't. I love you guys, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you're new. Get in the comment box down below. Chop it up with me. Let's talk in the comments, man. If you made it to this point in the video, I love you and I appreciate you. I really do. And everything that you always wanted is going to happen. I love you guys, man. Get in the comments down below. Let's talk in the comments. Let's do it. I'm out.